patch 12.12 .12 has brought a new level of difficulty to Tarkov. Not only are there a variety of changes to movement, ballistics, and recoil, but the flea market has been completely overhauled to limit players trading high value items between one another. But there is one way you can find what you need without having to find it in raid, and that's barters. If you want to succeed this wipe, you might want to consider learning these barters, but to make things easy for you, these are the top barters for level 1 traders. Keep in mind that some of these barters may be locked behind quests. Number 1. 6B23 armor for 1 propane canister from Prapper. It only takes a few bad raids to run out of armor, and early in the wipe you have very little choices of what you can buy. Rather than going in with a Paka vest, one propane canister can get you level 3 protection that will hold up against popular ammunition types such as PST GZH. Propane can be found in large quantities regularly in Ali on interchange, so stock up. Number 2. One Salewa for one paid anti-roach spray from Therapist. Salewas are costly to produce in the hideout, and finding high quality meds can sometimes be difficult but cans of paid are often left behind by even the most desperate of scavs. This super simple barter will ensure that you have access to high quality medical items from the moment you begin the wipe. Number three, VPO 136762 by 39 carbine for two horse statues from Skier. With the recent changes to full auto recoil, semi-auto guns are more useful than ever. The VPO 136 will be able to accept any AK pattern mods that you find in raid, and with the cheap and powerful 7.62x39 PS rounds, you can put enemies down easily. And horse statues have numerous spawns all over Tarkov, and often go unlooted. Number 4. 1 MP5 for 8 brown handle scav knives from Peacekeeper. This is one of the most classic and well-known barters in the game, but it's surprising how many players don't take advantage of it. The MP5 is a great low recoil option in the early game, and all you need to do is save your knives from your scav runs. You can't go wrong with this one. Number 5. One LBT day pack for one hard drive and one DVD drive from Peacekeeper. If you are forced into taking tiny backpacks into your raids because you've ran out, then this barter's for you. DVD drives and hard drives are almost always left behind in computers and tech spawns, so finding them is easy. Stock up on them, and you'll never have to take a tea bag or a sling backpack into a raid again. I should also mention that for just one hard drive, you can also get the smaller MBSS backpack, also from Peacekeeper. Number 6. One ammo case for two thermite and two green gunpowders from Mechanic. Even with an EOD account, many players find that their stash becomes too full, and then you're forced into selling things that you wish you could keep. This barter can be difficult to execute, as thermite can be a little tricky to find. But if you can pull it off, you can make a ton of space in your stash with an item that you normally wouldn't have access to until much later. Number 7. One roller and one GP coin for a Zenit PP-19 submachine gun from Mechanic. This barter is extremely popular, and for good reason. This Zenit PP-19 comes equipped with a wide variety of modifications that can be either used as is, or you can borrow parts off of this gun and put it onto other AK platform rifles. You'll have to grab this barter right after a refresh, however, as you can expect this barter to become sold out quickly. Number 8. Two elite pliers and one screwdriver for an MP133 tactical from Mechanic. Not only is this barter a great way to get Gunsmith Part 1 finished, but you can also either use this build as is for a quality shotgun, or borrow parts from it to use on other builds, such as the RMR Sight or the Magpul AFG. You can also make a small profit by doing this barter and then selling the entire gun back to Mechanic. Number 9. Two bleach for one Ratnik helmet from Ragman. There's a lot of debate about whether or not helmets really make a difference in Tarkov or not, but there's no denying that if a helmet is ever going to be useful, it's going to be in the early wipe. The 6B47 helmet offers more coverage than the standard SSH-68, and for only two bleach, you can hopefully keep your brains inside of your skull with this trade. Number 10. Three flash drives for one dog tags case from Jaeger. You should definitely keep your found and raid flash drives requests, but if you died with some flash drives in your secure container, or just have a surplus, this barter is great for two reasons. First, a dog tags case can save a ton of room in your inventory, but secondly, you can sell the dog tags case to therapists for 200k, which is not a bad deal. Number 11. Three pairs of nippers for one CMS kit from Jaeger. I've seen a lot of people run out of CMS kits early in the wipe, and not being able to fix blacked limbs is definitely not good. Nippers are extremely easy to find and are often left behind by both PMCs and player scavs alike. 
Make sure you pick a few of these up from time to time and you'll never run out of surgery kits. There's certainly other good barters with level 1 traders, but these are my top picks. Try to commit these trades to memory and get yourself used to using the barter function if you've never used it in the past. Like I've said before, barters are going to be extremely important in this wipe, and probably well into the future. I hope this helped, and I'll be posting my top barters for level 2 traders soon, so keep an eye out for that video. Please consider subscribing to help our channel grow, and if you'd like to help us make new content in the future, consider becoming a patron. A link is in the description. I'll see you in the next video, but until then, I'm Jeff with EUL Gaming. Good luck out there.